I wore my Supreme hat today to fit in with all the hype beasts. Good morning, YouTube. Look at this beautiful Christmas tree. Do you see it? It's amazing. So um, I have an interesting first run impressions video today that I wasn't sure that I was gonna do, but I was like, eh, why not give it a shot? And if I don't like it, I don't have to fully review it. But I was on the Adidas website a couple days ago and I saw that they had a bunch of Ultra Boost 19 shoes for 50% off. So... So there's a lot of controversy about this shoe. It's supposed to be a running shoe, but really all the hype beasts have taken it over and have kind of claimed the Ultra Boost as their their shoe. I want to see, is this a running shoe or is it not? I've seen mixed reviews from different YouTubers and different shoe blogs. Can this function as an actual running shoe? We're going to find out today in our first run and um, I'll let you know kind of how it goes. One thing I do know is that it feels heavy, really heavy like on the bottom here. And um, I know a lot of people say boost is life, but boost might be a heavy life. I'm not sure. that if these shoes suck for running they're really cute and probably one of the better looking running shoes that I've seen so that's a plus they won't go to total waste the lockdown fit is a little weird for me it's not really doing it but we'll see once I start running So first couple steps, um, I'm not really sold on Boost is life, but it doesn't feel bad. I don't know if it feels like life though. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Alright, so mile in. Uh, the shoes feel interesting, they feel decent. Um, there's definitely like no rocker to roll you forward. Okay, we have to go. It's okay. The shoe's pretty flexible. Um, and the cushion feels all right so far. So, mixed mixed opinions, mixed opinions. We'll keep analyzing. Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding dotted line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast. Crap, we're definitely going over the speed limit. Sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? All right, so I'm back from my run, and we're gonna talk all about the Adidas Ultra Boost 19. Now, I didn't do this shoe because it's hot and new and everybody likes it, but for a different reason. I got this shoe because I saw that Adidas had marked it down a substantial amount from the $180 price tag that it usually has because the Ultra Boost 20 is coming out soon, so they're trying to get rid of these bad boys. So I was like, why not? Let me pick up a pair. Maybe some people are trying to do the same thing, trying to get a deal and 
They're gonna try the shoe out, so why not review it now? The main goal of this video was to see, is this just a hype beast shoe? Like a boost is life, let me wear this with a pair of skinny jeans or sweatpants, or is this a really functional running shoe? And I have to say, I'm not too sure that it is. So without any further ado, let's get into the reasons why I'm on the fence a little bit about this one. Now a full disclaimer is that this is actually a men's shoe. They didn't have this color in women's and I bought this primarily for uh, casual wear and I wanted this color so I bought the men's version but it's actually a little big and I've worn plenty of men's shoe sizes before because my foot is huge and I've had no problems picking up the size that I need and having it fit my foot just fine but for this one it's a little bit big and I've heard other people say that this shoe runs big so if you are going to purchase one of these just be aware of that that you might want to size down maybe like a half size or so but anyway getting into this shoe so Adidas is using a prime knit 360 upper here and it's a booty construction which means there's no detached tongue, the tongue is engusted, the tongue is part of the booty construction in the upper. This prime knit material is stiff, uh, it's a little bit stretchy but it's on the rougher side of things so um, it didn't cause me any irritation but just something to be aware of. The tongue is comfortable or booty tongue whatever you want to call this and while there's not a pull tab on this shoe there is sort of like a flare out here in the back um, that you can pull onto when sliding into the shoe. So all of that's really fine with no problems. What really didn't work for me so well was this cage situation right here. It's supposed to work as a lockdown technology for your foot to keep it onto that platform for a more stable feeling. Mm, I don't know about all that guys. This is a little bit loose no matter how tight I cinched these laces I couldn't really get a great fit. And also another thing to keep in mind is that there's only four eyelet holes here. So if you're looking for that extra little bit of lockdown, a fifth eyelet hole would really have been beneficial. My foot felt a little bit sloppy in there. Yes, I am taking into consideration that I might be about a half size too big in this shoe, but at the same time, I mean, if you're going to make a technology to keep your foot in place, it should Keep your foot in place. Moving to the back of the shoe for the heel counter, Adidas is using a 3D heel frame technology, which is this thing here. I didn't have any issues with it. It felt fine to me. I'm not really sure why they need this plastic here. It held my foot in place and there's really no problems with it. And hey, it looks cool, so. Everyone buys Ultra Boosts for one reason. I mean, they look nice, but, but the real situation, the real claim to fame of the Ultra Boost 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 is this full length boost midsole i mean how you guys should play a drinking game honestly how many times i say boost you should drink you'll you won't be able to stand after this boost is supposed to be one of the most responsive foams on the market in fact before zoom x came around it was the most responsive foam on the market it really does have a great deal of energy return and cushioning to keep you going the longer miles. And yes, I would say that I definitely felt the energy return 100%. You really don't feel that in too many other foams like you do in Boost. You absolutely feel your foot springing back and Adidas was kind of the pioneer of that. Adidas was the brand that made all of the other shoe companies think, hmm, how responsive is my foam? So yes, Boost is fantastic. However, Boost is heavy. I did kind of feel this while I was running and I only ran for four miles in this shoe but towards the end it did seem a little bit heavy like my foot was lagging and maybe almost heel striking a little bit. I would have liked a little more boost under my forefoot. And it's interesting because this is supposed to have more boost than past iterations but for some reason I actually felt like this had less and I've worn ultra boosts for casual wear lots of times uh, and they actually felt like they had more cushioning than this believe it or not and I don't know what that's about maybe it's a personal problem but it's something that I noticed that I just felt like I was desiring a little more in this area um, than I have in other versions of the ultra boost. Moving on to the outsole of the Ultra Boost 19, you have Adidas's partnership with Continental Rubber. 
Adidas calls this pattern the stretch web outsole, which gives you plenty of flexibility, which I would actually have to agree with. It felt pretty nice. Um, the outsole didn't feel like it was too stiff and working against the shoe. The run that I took it on didn't have any really wet surfaces, but I did run on some leaves and that was a little slippery, but it seemed to hold up just fine. And then in the middle here of the outsole, you see this plastic kind of pinkish situation. That is the stabilizing torsion spring that Adidas uses in their Ultra Boost shoes. It just gives you a little more stability and I think it's really necessary for this shoe because I'm not sure how much more unstable it would be without it. Listen, I'm not saying you can't take this shoe out on some nice easy miles. You definitely can and I might still do that. I think there are a lot of better options out there for the price point. However, because they are marking down the Ultra Boost 19 on a plethora of websites, it might be like 50% off somewhere, so maybe it's worth picking up just to have as like an easy run day shoe or something where you're not really looking to uh, set a certain pace. Then I think that's where this shoe could really benefit because the boost cushioning is really nice. I just think it's a heavy shoe and I think it's a little bit sloppy in this upper for you to really get everything you need from a running shoe. If you're looking for an everyday trainer, I think you could do better than this. One huge pro to this shoe, and it's a big one, is that you can wear this shoe casually, but you can also run in it. And that's a huge, huge pro, and it might be the selling point for a lot of people. You could go run 10 miles in this shoe and then slip on a pair of cool sweatpants, cool hat, cool whatever, because you're a cool hype beast, and you can wear it out on the town. So that's a really big selling point and it's honestly why I picked up a pair because they were discounted, they look really nice and they can function as a running shoe but I just wanted to see how well. All right guys, that concludes my first run impressions video of the Adidas Ultra Boost 19. I'm not sure if I'll do a full review on this, if I'll keep running in it. You guys can let me know in the comments below if you're interested in such a video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. We're, we're doing this, we're making the community bigger, and I couldn't love doing this more. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below. Like, yeah, you see that like little bell thing? That one. Hit that so you can find out every time I upload a new video right then and there. In the meantime, guys, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Peller. I'll see you next time. He takes forever to turn off.